If you store old versions of your Excel files similar to what I have here in my archive folder, then you can easily migrate to Excel Trail. First of all, we need to create a new project. Let's call it Sales. Once that's created, I click on Upload New Workbook. And there are two things to remember here. First, start at the oldest version and second, upload your very first file with the name that you would like to see going forward. So I'm going to my archive, the first version, and I will remove that version extension here so that when I upload it, I will just see sales plan. Again, this is only necessary for the very first upload. So I'll call this here initial version. I hit the submit new version button and depending on the size of the file this will take a moment or two. Once it's here I can move on, I can actually click into the file and move on with my second version. As mentioned before no need now to rename that second version so I can just really say what happened here so maybe I improved the figures and maybe for historical version I want to cross reference that here with a version 2 as we had it here in the archive. Now the current version is here I can also just move that over and describe again my changes so that might have been uh, fixing fixed a few bugs and this is essentially how you upload new versions of a file versions of a file that you already have for historic reasons now once you have done that you can actually look at the history here and the history here replaces whatever you have on the left hand side so basically you can get rid of your archive and see all the historic versions here in Excel Trail. So here for example you can see how the individual sheets changed. We have in green what is new or added and in red what is old or deleted. So here I can for example say that I deleted column F, I added row 11 and I modified cell D 13 by replacing a formula with a hard-coded value, a common source for mistakes. If we're going to go back to the changes here, then we can see that we can also have changes tracked in VBA modules. So all of the VBA changes appear here on a single page. If I now continue to work on on that file here. I simply have to do a few changes so maybe this is going to be my sales plan uh, 2019 to 2020 and when I save that I can just come over here again upload the new version and then I'll say what I've changed like updated title to 2019 2020 20. Again, I can upload my file and have this new version now ready in my history. And here is the change that we've just made. Importantly to remember here is that on the history page I can not only see why things changed, I can also see when things happened and also who made that change. Now if I wanted to compare an older version with a newer version then I can just copy that version ID, put it here and then copy the other version ID of the file that I want to look at the changes and then I can click on compare and see again what changed in between these two files. So you can see that for example here my latest change is also included but not just that one.